Hi lovelies, it's this time of the year again to show you all my makeup products that I used in 2019 and it's been quite some products. Some are favorites and repeats, you're gonna see multiple ones of those, but um, some were not too good. So let's gonna start with a mask that I have used. So this one over here it is uh, by Sop and glory and this is for puffy eye attack and it's an under eye brightening um hydro gel patch and it works this is the shape of the gel pads that they come inside which is just for the under eyes this right here and i liked it it was uh, pretty good well would i purchase this probably yes um, I'll see what else is out there. Then I try, these are some of the samples. So I had two of them. I tried two that I got for a brand Maui. It's, um, hair care. It was the shampoo and conditioner and they are bamboo fibers for both of them. Um, it was pretty good. I liked the smell this is just to try it to see if i would like to purchase the the regular size um it smells like coconut and i love when hair products smell tropical then this is one that i really really enjoy um this is a detoxifying charcoal two-in-one scrub stick so it opens like a deodorant right now you see it's completely empty because then after that um it broke the part when it was empty and then you just put it um like rubber all around your face and it has like a scrubbing little uh, particles then they really exfoliate and uh this is by yes to tomatoes clear skin and yes i need to get another one of these ones i really liked it my daughters liked it as well then um i got this this is a target not target i mean uh, walmart walmart brand is the um quick action daily face wash um i did like it um it has it's more for like acne it compares to the clear seal it has the salicylic acid 2% that is for the acne treatment. Um, I liked it. It was pretty good. Um, I was trying to get something that compared to the Proactive, which I'm going to show you. I also got the Proactive and I had the whole kit and I did use everything. If you see right there, this is the uh, face wash. Then that one is the toner. And right behind it, you're going to see it is um, the um, oil control moisturizer. And um, I have things to say about the Proactive brand, which um, it, it works sort of in a way. Um, but for me, I think it work mostly it's, um, to maybe get you used to a daily routine. Um, it wasn't what I expected. Did I get rid of the redness? Uh, no. It did control the future breakouts and reduce the bumpiness that I have in my skin, but, uh, I think it's just as any other good cleanser. It it just keeps you in the routine with the face wash, the moisturize, and then to use the toner. So it keeps you in a routine. So I'm gonna see uh, what other products are out there, but just to keep going, using the three things, uh, even if it's in a different brand, to um, do something for my face. So what else? After that one finished, then I started using this one, which is also a Walmart brand. And this is the Collagen Moisturizer Day and Night. I did enjoy it. It's, uh, it was just a little bit heavy. Um, 
as far as being a little greasy, but it was very good. I, I enjoy it. Mostly at nighttime and in the morning, you wake up with a soft skin. Then let's what we have here the Mario Badescu skincare. This is the cleanser gel. Um, I did like today. Um, let me see in my notes what I have that I can say besides um, that I just liked it. Um, no, no, I didn't put any no more notes. Um, pretty good. What I did like from this, um, it was a spray, which I don't think I have it. Um, yes, I found it right here. Give me just one second and I will find it for you, which is this one right over here. And this one, I did like it a lot. This is the facial spray with the aloe, cucumber, and green tea. Oh, this thing is fantastic. Um, this is not the bigger one, or oh, maybe it was. Um, it's good for all skin type. It refreshes, and um, I need to buy another one of these ones. Um, also, I got two. These are two oh, from the same brand. Pixie and this the skin treat line that they have and this one was the hydrating milky mist love it it also have the uh, hyaluronic acid and black oat and this it's fantastic I love it unfortunately my daughter was taking it all the time from me but I like that a lot and I also got the the um, makeup mist the fixing spray and this is very good as well. Um, utilize both. Love both of them. Definitely recommend it. This brand is a little more pricey from the ones that they have at Target. Because I think that's the only place where you can find it. But um, yeah, um, I really enjoy it. Then I was using this one daily also. And, and I, I don't mind. Um, it's pretty good. Neutrogena. And this one was for combination skin. And it's just moisturizer. And I did use this one. The whole thing as well. The toner. This Everything that is as far as moisturizer, toner, and face wash. I use it after the proactive. And this one over here is also by Neutrogena. It's the pore refining toner. I liked it as far as how clean it left my skin. However, this one um, did, does contain um, alcohol. That's right, alcohol. And I think this one was too strong for my skin. It left me like burning sensation after I clean my face so I decide to find the one that is the alcohol free which they also have a version of alcohol free and that's the one that I'm using right now so this one won't be a repurchase because the difference will be that I'm using the alcohol free then uh, Neutrogena had this Hydro Boost which is a whole series that they have right now and I really enjoy it too anything that is Hydro equals water like I hydrate your skin um it I like it and this is the water gel and it does have sunscreen SPF 15 and this I really liked it enjoy it a lot most likely I'm gonna repurchase this as well uh, let me see what else I have in here um another spray which is a primer water cucumber one like the effect ha like how it refreshes your skin however the cucumber one i wasn't crazy about the the scent of the cucumber didn't like it so my daughter got me for christmas the coconut one and i like that one that's the one that i'm using right now but this is pretty good also i got a for i think it's this is by iceland the um, brand let me see in my notes give me just a minute to take a look at it and yes this one over here um there were eye gels firming ones 
which is very similar like the soap and glory um i like it too um this one was for stress skin i like this one better than the soap and glory because um i think it, it, the other one was a little heavier to keep it in there so i i did got the feel there was something under my eyes during the time that you had to keep it which is at least 15 minutes um but they both did the same job they reduce the puffiness that that is around your eyes and that's usually what i need tire eyes are my thing then another mask that year was a lot trying new different masks because my mom did got me quite a few of them this one is by Next Gen Beauty, and it's the Tea Tree Sheet Mask. And this one minimizes your pores, and it was pretty good. Um, it was just to try. I don't think that I'm going to get this one again. And then I had the Botanical Mask Pack, and these ones were um, the, like the rose uh, scent, and this one was pretty good too. And besides that i do have one more sample one which was um oh this one was actually makeup and this one was for dark circles by bobby brown and it had the two different colors i match better with uh the peach but i did use both of them and their correctors it was all right um i won't be purchasing actually the real thing but it was just to try. They gave me this to try and that's what I did. So now the, let's just start with actually the makeup. That is what I have left in here. And I can tell you a lot of everything here now is going to be uh, full sizes. Um, I did got some lashes. I used them until they start getting really the shape started going out of shape so then i threw them away and this ones were the uh, katy perry lashes by eyelure and uh they were pretty good they were nice and comfortable then as far as eyeshadow palettes i only finished completely pretty much complete because this one i would say it was complete i'm not gonna use the colors that they're left in here and this one is by hard candy um, I don't even think they make this one anymore. So that's why I wanted it to finish it and get it out of my makeup collection. This one, it is the Matte Eyeshadow Pro Palette. And it had a very nice red one in there. And um, these two lines over here were the ones that I liked it the most. These ones I know I wasn't going to use, so I didn't even bother. I did try the colors, but I didn't use them. The black wasn't really that black, so I used some of it and um, the colors over here. So then I say after I finish the colors that I'm in here and the year finish, then it comes out of my makeup collection. For face, I did use three um, setting powders, which are two for Maybelline, the Fit Me ones. And the number is the 220 in natural beige. This is my go-to. I use them all the time and I use the same number all the time, the 220. I usually buy when they're um, buy one, get one 50% off, and I get them all the time. Then I got the bare mineral bear pro, and this one was in natural 11. I like it, it's good, but it's more pricey. Um so yeah i did use it all i like it probably may try it again because it was very good but because i go to a few often especially because my daughters tend to take some of my makeup then most likely i will just repurchase the fit me the maybelline one for foundations liquid foundations i went through four of them and um i can tell you from all of these ones my favorite ones were these two 
which is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation in the shade F8. And I like this one. Um, I, I have another one that I'm, I repurchased and that's the one that I'm using right now. I did try a different one that they have that is more like a, um, like the dewy finish, but I don't like it. This one has a Dofa applicator and um, yeah, I like it. It's pretty good. Then I purchased the NYX Can't Stop One Stop. Very good. I really enjoy this one as well. I like that it comes with a pump. Yeah, pumps get messy, but I liked it. And this one was in the color natural. And yes, I like it. Very good. Recommended. Then this one's I had tried many times before. And actually right now I'm using this one. And it's a buildable one. It's not a full coverage. I would say it's a medium coverage. It's the matte and poreless. And this one is in the number 120A Warm Nude. And I think the one that I repurchased is in the same color. And I like it. Um, it's just towards the end of the day around my nose. And um, like the T-zone, it gets a little oily, even though it's a matte. But uh, so it doesn't last as long as other ones, but I, I like it. And um, like I say, I repurchased and that's the one that I'm using right now alongside with another Makeup Revolution.